Measuring angles in standard position. Question 1. Sketch the following angles in standard position. 220 degrees and minus 60 degrees. So let's try to do them now. So 220 degrees in standard position. So what do you understand by standard position? You need a coordinate plane, right? So let's sketch a coordinate plane. So there we are. So any angle in standard position should have vertex at origin and initial arm along positive x-axis. So that becomes our vertex and this is the initial arm, correct? 220 degrees, that means from initial arm, the terminal arm rotates around origin. So it's positive. Positive means rotating counterclockwise, right? Positive means rotating counterclockwise. So it rotates counterclockwise and goes how much? 220 degrees. Now you know how much is 20 degrees. 220 degrees is more than 180 degrees. By how much? You say 220 minus 180 is 40 degrees more. Is it okay? So we are not using any protector here. We are just trying to sketch approximately what it is but our angles should be labeled to make sure that this is correct so what we have is kind of here like right? that gives us around 220 degrees how from here to here it is 180 degrees right from here to here it is 180 degrees this is zero this is 90 degrees and that's the origin o 40 more so from here we say it is 40 so 180 plus 40 is 180 degrees. So we are sure that this blue circle arc which we have made is 220 degrees. So that is how we are going to sketch our angles in standard position. Okay. Now let's look into the next one which is minus 60 degrees in standard position. That means we will make our coordinate plane and we get the origin first, right? Now, let's sketch the initial arm first. So, let this be my initial arm. It has to be along the positive x-axis. Now, minus 60. Minus means what? Minus means clockwise, right? So, it is clockwise 60 degrees, right? That seems to be 60 degrees. So we are approximately sketching them, okay? We are using any protector for the time being. You can use one. So, so terminal arm happens to be here like this and we'll label it. Important thing here is to label and that is 60 degrees. Now since it is clockwise, I don't really have to write minus 60 here. It means, right? So we say clockwise implies negative angle. Is it okay? And this is positive. That means it is counterclockwise. So this question number one is basically to reconfirm with you the understanding of angles in standard position. So most important point here is that the vertex should be at origin O. Do you see both the places? Vertex is at origin O, right? And then we have an initial arm. So I'm writing here initial arm along positive x-axis. Do you see that? Initial arm is along positive x-axis. Now the terminal arm can be in any quadrant. Like here, in this case it is in quadrant 3 and in this case it is in quadrant 4. It could be in any quadrant. Now if you move counterclockwise then the angle is measured as positive. Positive 220 means you have to go from positive x-axis about the circle 220 degrees counterclockwise. Negative 60 means that you have to go clockwise. So that is how negative 60 will be drawn. So this is the way to sketch angles in standard position. My recommendation to you is that when you do trigonometry, just sketch as I have shown. Don't bother about getting your protector and accuracy, right? You'll be wasting a lot of important time there. So this is good enough sketch for our purpose. Okay, I hope you understand it. Thank you.